Hello everyone, happy new year, happy prosperous new year. This particular reading is on psychic mediumship. We are going to use the tarot. It is the divination tools that I love to use. So right in front of you here, would love for you to choose which cards, tarot deck, do you feel drawn or tarot oracle card do you, that you feel drawn. Excuse my language here, I'm going really fast. And we'll see what your deceased loved ones, those that had passed on to eternity, the next life, into a new form or wherever they're at, may be in this moment. And we'll see what their message for you is for today. My name is Florence Leonardo. Welcome to my psychic practice, Flow Mystic. Reveal the mystery of your desire with divination. I'll see you in your readings. My heart cries, these lungs sing over you, my worthy, beautiful soul. Hello, if you've selected the oracle card on the left, this is your reading. If you're new to my channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. And if you are returning, I appreciate you. I see you. Thank you for your support on my work. So just shuffling the cards for a little bit here, the tarot cards. We're going to use the Hermetic Tarot for this reading. So your, the, <laughs> the Oracle card that you selected, it is the throat chakra, it's the color blue. And it's number 23, and it says on here, truth, truth number 23. So I'll let you to continue to just feel into that for a moment and direct your energy and attention to it. We are, I'm going to read the tarot cards. I'm going to set that here in the space. And let's see here message from your deceased loved ones message from your deceased loved ones what do they want to tell you right in this moment it is the new year may you experience a prosperous new year okay see that was turned up a little bit there so you have the three of cups the king of cups so let's start with identifier this person that's coming through feels like a feminine energy but doesn't necessarily mean that they are female um water sign cancer scorpio pisces so i'm sensing a lot more male is coming through and i'm seeing pisces as more bold letters in that i'm seeing the number i'm seeing the number 23 so potentially, let me see. I'm seeing number 23. I'm going to leave that to you because Pisces is either, I believe, February. Oh, yeah. So, well, the half part of February and then on to the beginning part of March. So I'm going to leave those there. Pisces, 23. It could also be that they're age 23. But male presence, um, Feminine energy, water sign. These are all just identifier. They don't necessarily have to be. We can just look at the message. Okay, more and more I'm seeing cancer now too. So cancer sign. Potentially the June part of cancer. So the first part of cancer. It feels to me that this person is definitely feminine in the expression. Okay, so... Message, message, uh, excuse me. What is their message to you today? So, Ace of Wands here. I am sensing that they're pointing, the message from your deceased loved ones is that they're pointing to your intention this year to set your intention, to explore what it is that you're passionate about to not give up on yourself, to do the things that makes you happy, do the things that you love this year. 
I'm sensing they're saying that this year is going to be a successful year, but it's not going to happen. Just you doing nothing. I'm hearing them saying that what you decide to explore when you trust yourself, when you do the things that you love, the things that you're passionate about, that is going to unfold for you in such a way that is going to bring success. I'm sensing also that they're saying that it's not going to take a long time, that there's, there's speed taking place this year for success for the people that are here, but also just a collective energy for what you want to explore especially with what we've gone through, through COVID. There's a lot of like slow, stagnant energy in the last couple of years, but this year's things are going to speed up. This is a good time to explore and not just anything new, but there is new energy, but to explore something that truly you are passionate about, those things that you have put in the back burner, those things that you said, oh, the next year, another time to take those off the shelf, <laughs> take, unbox them, and give them opportunity to experience you this year and for you to experience whatever that is that you are passionate about. I'm sensing that as they're saying that it's going to be successful, it's going to also bring emotional fulfillment. It's going to bring emotional fulfillment. You're going to feel satisfied and you're going to feel grateful and thankful that you took the time to value you and, and pay attention to you and focus on you this time. They're saying that with, with the truth card here, they're saying that balance, it's time to balance as well as balance is happening, both on the humanity aspect of it, which, which means you actually putting in effort as well as there's divine balance happening in your life. Like maybe you've been in the low part of the circle and they said that you know, you're gonna experience your high this time that things are coming to balance in life, the circle of life, the flower of life. Like this is your time to shine. This is your time to bloom. This is your year. This is your time. This is your moment. This is your season. I love that. They're saying that you are strong. You've been in the lower, lowest part of your life experiences, but that's not where your story ends. You are strong. So Leo sign is showing up here now too. So the message coming from a male presence it was high on the feminine energy and expression, but now Leo sign is showing up here. So to some of you, that's an identifier of who's coming through. But your the message from your deceased loved ones is they're saying that this is your moment, this is your time to shine. It's time to express those deep things that's within you. Those deep things from your heart's desire. This is the year for you to experience them. Never to force yourself. If you still feel withdrawn, if you still feel insecure and still feel afraid to do something new this year, it's okay. Take your time. But use this moment as you're hearing this right now. Use this moment to really reflect. Like, what do you want for 2023? What do you envision for yourself? Do you want to continue to be where you are at right now? And if your answer is yes, it is okay. Like spirit never wants to force us. Your human self has a choice. You have a choice. You can make a choice. Please make a choice. Also with this being the throat chakra, it is about self-expression. It is about having a voice being seen in the world. And so your deceased loved ones is letting you know that like this is the year for you to be recognized, for you to be seen in whatever capacity that is. Maybe it is just being seen in your community, in your family, in your relationships. Or maybe it is in a grand scheme of setup where you are going to be seen internationally during across among across online platforms 
in whatever capacity you desire to feel seen and be known for the things that you love and you're passionate about, for your gifts, your talents, and how you want to serve into the world. This is your year. This is your moment. This is your season. Let me know how this is resonating for you guys. I haven't done this in a while. This is the first one this year, but I wanted to let you know that the channel is approaching one year next month. So thank you so much for your support. I wanted to create this video for those most of you in the beginning. You were drawn to my channel through my psych mediumship reading that I've done on my channel. So, but I am pivoting. I am trans transitioning to making the channel more about my signature reading, which is on relationship dynamics. So most of my readings now are going to be about relationship dynamics, but I wanted to create this one just as a way to deliver that transition and, and a way to say thank you for supporting me in the beginning of my my path or my walk on this channel. So my name is Florence Leonardo. Thank you so much again. Please comment below, like this video and let me help me push it through forward on the algorithm of YouTube. And thank you for engaging with me here in my psychic practice, Flow Mystic. Reveal the mystery of your desire with divination. Hello, hello. If you selected the Oracle deck on the right, this is your reading. Thank you so much for those of you who are new to my channel. Welcome, welcome. And if you are returning, I appreciate you. Thank you for your support. So we're going to use the Hermetic Tarot deck for this reading. Let's see what is the connection card from your deceased loved ones. This one is the Earth Star Chakra, and it says grounding number four. So I feel a lot of stability right now. So continue to tune into that. I'm going to set it over here and read the tarot <laughs> during this time for you. Let's see here. Okay. Wow. Okay. So I am, I am sensing who's coming through male presence but also masculine and feminine energy. I have cancer coming through. If your loved ones is a cancer sign. So we have cancer coming through. And then Leo is coming through. I am sensing even a, a mother who has passed on that is coming through. I'm sensing someone who has lived in a farm <laughs> that's coming through. Also someone who it, whose birthday is in the summertime, if especially if we have Leo and Cancer coming through here. So let's see, what is their message for you? at this time. Wow. <laughs> okay. I'm feeling into this because the first reading was the same thing. Okay. So what I am hearing them saying is that whatever it is that you're exploring right now, that is going to take ground that is going to gain momentum and movement. Let it be relationship. It is entrepreneurship that you're doing or a hobby that you are exploring, a class that you are exploring. Whatever that new thing that you're doing right now, maybe some of you had picked up on some cooking classes and lessons that, you know, you you were just Maybe it even started because you were bored. So whatever it is that you have picked up recently, and I'm sensing even in the last either six days, some of you, I'm seeing six weeks, even six months. So whatever that is that you are exploring, that is going to gain ground and movement. And it's gaining ground and movement towards success, 
towards happiness, towards ultimately fulfillment and you experiencing blessing in that. You feeling that, oh, I intuitively trusted what I felt is true about this exploration and now I'm going to experience what I believe. So I feel that as this take ground and as you see success in this, it's going to allow you to feel so much more confident about yourself that you are hearing, hearing, you are hearing intuitively from your deceased loved ones when they come into your awareness and, and the memories come up or you may be feeling them in your presence that indeed it, it is them as well as being able to trust more and more that you do have divine guidance and connection to that which we don't see. Wow, ace and ace, okay. So I'm hearing them saying that your way of thinking, your way of analyzing, analyzing, na analyzing things, your way of your thought process, how you ponder on things. They said that that, like that, that is on the right track. There is momentary you being in your head too long. But they said that they're helping you, they're guiding you around it, that when when it is starting to become a little too much, that you shall know when to back off, you shall know to kind of take a rest, but just just as an awareness and not not something to be too alarmed, but some of you have a tendency to kind of hang out in your head a little too much. But nonetheless, what they're saying is that because you can tend, you may analyze this new thing that you're exploring and instead of it becoming successful, you could, what's the word? Like sabotage yourself. So nothing, once again, nothing to be too alarmed. It's just awareness right now. You're not even there. That's not what you're doing right now. It's just awareness of what's could what you could potentially come across with on this path. But ultimately what you're exploring, they're just wanting to say yes to it. They're saying yes. <laughs> you're saying yes, you're doing well to explore that. You're exploring something that is going to benefit you. And this is ultimately going to allow you and bring you to trusting yourself even more because you're going to come out more confident in this so as is this star this earth star chakra is saying it's grounding like this experience really is going to be feel very grounding to you you're going to stand feeling so much more independent about yourself so this now is that just that potentiality of if you stay too long over here in your head, it could be it, it could be the ace of sword could become the nine of sword, which really you being worrying and being fearful and not being able to move, feeling stuck. So once again, you are in the early stage of it. That's not where you are at. You are not in the nine of swords, but this could potentially go there and the success that you're your deceased loved ones is trying to show you right now, it could potentially not unfold. So ultimately what they want to say is that good job for exploring something that feels authentic and true for you. It's going to bring success. If you feel like you start analyzing it way too much, kind of take the time to rest and take your feet or your, your energy off of the gas pedal so that it can balance itself out. Let me know how this is resonating for you so far. Please comment below, subscribe if you haven't already and like this video so that more people can find it and the algorithm for YouTube will catch it. So I haven't done this reading in a while and I wanted to do it as a way to say thank you for those of you who were 
subscribe in the beginning you came in to my channel through the psychic mediumship that I've done. So I appreciate you. Thank you so much. I am transitioning the channel. I'm pivoting it to doing more of my signature readings, which is on relationship dynamics. So just the channel is turning one year next month. So I just wanted to use this as a way to say thank you and deliver the message this way. So once again, my name is Florence Leonardo. If you want in-depth reading, I do offer that. Please check the description. It's in my personal website, florenceleonardo.com. And I appreciate you for engaging with me here in my psychic practice. Flow Mystic, reveal the mystery of your desire with divination.